Hi Uptown Kids, I hope you've had a lovely week. We're into week three of our work in progress series. We've been thinking about forgiveness. Remember that def definition? Forgiveness is deciding that someone that has wronged you doesn't have to pay. I wonder if you've been trying to do that this week. Have you managed to forgive people that maybe have le left you out of a game or spoiled something that belonged to you or or maybe who has, with their words, hurt your feelings. Have you been able to forgive people? Pause the video and share together times where you have managed to show forgiveness this week. Well done if you are really taking our learning in Uptown Kids and applying it to your own lives. If you haven't yet, then why not make that your goal for this week? that you're gonna look for opportunities to forgive others. We're gonna dive straight into the so-and-so show and see what we can learn from John and Brandon, Kellen and the Bible this week. In week one of this series, we learn about Jesus' example of forgiving the lady who had made lots of mistakes. And last week we learned about how forgiving others can really change their lives. Like when Jesus forgave Zacchaeus, the tax collector, it really turned his life around. And today we're learning that we should forgive others because God forgave you. Let's take a look at... Everyone, I'm John, and I'm Brandon, and this is the So and So Show. And aren't you lucky because we've figured out something incredible? Yes, yes, we all need forgiveness, right? Yep. Yes, M mistakes are made, and people have to let each other off the hook. Which is why here at the So and So Show, we're introducing the brand new So and So, and -so, -so Show, show brand, brand Forgiveness Punch Card. We're going to be testing it out over the course of this episode. Yeah. Every time one of us needs forgiveness for something we get a punch on our card. So, for instance, let's say John ate a sandwich I left in the fridge that I was saving for my lunch, which happened. Guilty as charged. All I have to do is get oh. his card, pull out my handy dandy hole punch, and... <gasps> the weight's gone. Just like that, all is forgiven. Look at that. Yeah, now, you may be asking yourself, what happens when you fill up the card? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We don't know. No, I mean, we're never gonna fill up these cards, right? It feels really unlikely. There's room for what? Like seven punches yeah, here. Yeah, Seven punches. And if we do fill up these cards, we probably deserve whatever's coming to us, right? Right. <laughs> anyway, we just wanted to make sure you were aware that that was going on today. Uh, Can't wait to test out this idea that I came up with. Whoa, 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 this wasn't your idea. I know, I just wanted to do something that would require forgiveness uh, so that we could be even. Ah, what a pal! All here right, we go, here all we right, go. here we go. Forgiven. Ooh, forgiven. <laughs> there you go. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to play a little game called Tortilla Slap. <laughs> Here's how we play the game. We're gonna fill our mouths with water, and then we'll play rock, paper, scissors. And when someone loses, the other person gets to slap them with a tortilla. The goal is to get the other person to laugh so hard that they spew water. You sound good? Yep, sounds good to me. Let's. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right, you know I'm what? I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go All ahead. Right, that was not cool of me. <laughs> okay. The game. Okay. All right, go. let's fill her up. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Whoa. What? No, I get to punch it. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I caught you off guard the first time, all right? But don't let's not do that again. Let's play the game right. All right, here we go. I'm gonna fill her up. That is too hard. You're gonna, you're gonna punch. I mean, play nice. Sorry, sorry. Oh no. It looks like you're going I slow. I, I think I broke. Mm hmm. 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 Mm hm
me like that. <laughs> that is no, no, no. Give me your card. <laughs> Distracting. I mean, it's not called distract. Yeah, it is. Slap. All right. It's Ow. just playing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What in the world was that? It's the game. Hey, what? Not only did you just defy physics, you are not allowed to swallow your water. All right, hey, no, you can't you, block yourself with your hand. That's what I'm looking at. Don't you dare. No, Look no, at no, that. no, 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 I don't deserve a punch yeah, for that. Yeah, you do, yeah, you do. I don't do. deserve a punch that. for that. You were thinking about hitting me with two halves of a tortilla. Why should, why should I have forgiveness for something like, no, 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 stop. Yep, I'll leave. Nope, nope, okay, nope, fine, nope, you know what, you know what, here we go. Look at this, look at this, you're punching me, I'm punching your punch. I'm punching yours, card joke. Punch, 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 Guys. No. Guys. It's time for my thing. Oh. Uh. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, hey Kellen, we, we stop, stop interrupting, interrupting me. me. Hey, that's, that's a punch. Guys. No. We're doing a forgiveness punch card thing. We're still working out the kink. Yeah. What are we talking about today, Kellen? Today, we're talking about the parable of the unmerciful servant in Matthew chapter. Oh, we're talking about the unmerciful servant. Well, I've got a point to make. Interrupting, no, interrupting. You're interrupting, interrupting my interruption. No, 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 no. You, you interrupted Kelly. I'm talking about this. We never talk all that time. You know what? It's long distance when we talk. John, what were you going to say? It just so happens I've been working on a short film about the unmerciful servant. Oh, yeah? That's exciting. Yeah, the only problem is I really couldn't decide how I wanted to tell it, so I ended up shooting a few different versions. Mind if I screen them for you? Um, sure. Let's go for it. Oh, great. Kellen, uh, give me a second to get set up. Sounds great. So one day, Peter, a disciple, came to Jesus and asked him a pretty important question. He said, Lord, how many times should I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus said to him, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. Okay. So this first one is my attempt at an Oscar-worthy drama. Ready? Sure. Go for it. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to collect all the money his servants owed him. Bring him in. And in this world, a debt is owed. Servant, according to my ledger, you owe me 10,000 bags of gold. Your Majesty, I cannot pay. If you cannot pay in gold, then you will pay in life. You, your family, and all you own will be sold to pay back what you owe. Please, Your Highness, show me mercy. Just give me more time. No. Wait, 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 wait a second. John, that's not how it happened. Oh, I know, but just think of the drama. I will not, good sir. The king did not say no. He said... I, I know. Please, your highness, show me mercy. Just give me time. Very well. I won't merely give you more time. I will forgive you what you owe. Your 10,000 bag of gold debt is wiped clean. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sire. 
Ah, oh. Much better. The king forgave his servant, just like that. So the servant left the king and... Slow down, Kellen. Don't, don't give away the ending to my movie. Right, right. Carry on with your award-winning drama. Actually, maybe uh, drama isn't my thing, but what about uh, thriller? When your debts have been wiped clean. Oh, I can't believe the king forgave my giant debt. What incredible... That doesn't mean you still can't collect. You! John! John, the servant didn't have a thrilling chase scene through a marketplace. They could have. So the servant had just been forgiven his debt of 10,000 bags of gold by the king. But believe it or not, there was a person who also owed the servant money, 100 silver coins. And while there was not a worldwide foot chase, this happened. John? You owe me 100 silver coins. Oh, oh friend. I know, I, 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 I am so sorry. Please, please, just to give me a little bit more time. Could you find it in your heart to show me some mercy? Of course. Not! The servant had the person thrown in jail. When the king found out about it, he, oh, hey, he called the servant into his courtroom. I forgave all that you owed me because you begged me to! Shouldn't you have shown mercy to the other servant the way that I showed mercy to you? I sentence you to pay back everything you owe! Yeah! <laughs> Take him away! <laughs> no, wait! Wait, wait! A hundred million dollars stunt extravaganza! You know, John? I think we've seen all that we need from this. I'll take it from here. Oh, okay, sure. The servant in Jesus' story who was forgiven chose not to forgive, and things didn't turn out so well. It's the same with us. God is willing to forgive us no matter what. God is so faithful, so we should be willing to forgive others. If we don't, it goes bad for us. We hold on to grudges and bad feelings that make us miserable. It's better when you're able to see the kindness that God has shown you and pay that back to people in your everyday life. So when someone has wronged you, ask God to help you forgive. I'll see you next time. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he brings up a great point. Um... Makes me feel really dumb about how much we cared about our forgiveness punch cards. How's yours looking? Um. Same. Oh. Well, consider it wiped clean, buddy. I forgive you. And I forgive you, pal. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Reveal the question. Oh, great, yeah, today's question is, what keeps you from forgiving? Mm. Mm. Sometimes it's hard for me to forgive when I feel like someone has gotten away with something they shouldn't have. Yeah, well, it's hard for me to forgive when someone does something to hurt my feelings. I, I can't always put my personal feelings aside and forgive them. Yeah, but just remember, God has forgiven people for everything under the sun. Oh yeah. And you can find it in your heart to forgive people too. I mean, God can help you with that. Yeah, just like we forgave each other. Yep. Hey. Do you want to fully play the tortilla game that we were playing earlier? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Okay. Until next time, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this was the So and So Show. Oh. <laughs>
I really want to play that game. It looks such fun. Maybe that's one for holiday club in the summer. Let's remember it. So let's think about the big question that we've been asked there. What keeps you from forgiving? Pause the video and talk about it in your groups. Maybe you've even got some examples of when it's been really hard to forgive. Like if the person isn't even sorry, or if they just keep doing the same hurtful thing. Are we expected to keep forgiving them then? Pause the video and talk about it in your group. Well done everyone, really great chatting. Well done for being honest in your groups. This isn't an easy subject. Our memory verse that we've been learning and reading in our Bibles reminds us to show forgiveness to others. Can anyone say it before we put it on the screen? Pause the video, let's see if anyone knows it without looking. Amazing, well done. Let's all say it together, shall we? Put up with one another. Forgive one another if you are holding something against someone. Forgive just as the Lord forgave you. Colossians chapter three, verse 13. Well done. You were great with our new song last week. Let's stand and sing and praise God together as we sing all of the ways. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. I know I'm going to make mistakes in this life I live, but you never leave me. You forgive. I won't always get it right. It's all right. No matter what I do I'm always loved by you In the morning time I'm gonna sing God, you make me smile When you're doing your thing I'm thankful for the way you set me free And all of the ways that you love me I know I'm gonna make mistakes life I live, but you never leave me, you forgive, I won't always get it right, it's alright, cause no matter what I do, no matter what, I'm always loved by you, in the morning time, I'm gonna sing, God you make me smile, when you're doing your thing. Fabulous singing as always, everyone. Well done. Great. We'll conclude our work in progress series next week. But for now, in the room, we've got crafts and we've got activities to enjoy together. If you're joining us online, we'll see you next week. But before we go, let's pray together. 
dear God, we realize that forgiving others is not always easy. In fact, sometimes it's really, really hard. It even seems impossible sometimes, but you forgave us. So we want to follow your example. When we find it really hard to forgive, please help us. Amen. Bye, see you next week. <laughs>